Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is actually going to be for the week of the 21st going all the way to the 6th of March, okay? Because I am behind and I want to make sure that you guys get um, all the days that you need to hear about. I'm in the process of moving abroad so I haven't had a lot of time to be able to do readings but I'm here now. I hope you guys haven't missed me too much. <laughs> Let's just jump straight into it for you Leo and see what's coming up for you guys, okay? All right, Spirit, let's have a look and see the Leo, please. Round and round. All right, it's time to get rid of some situations that are no longer serving you. Pretty self-explanatory. The time to go on the bottom of the deck just says something is ready. You're ready to leave something behind now. This could be physical movement, but again, it could just be calling an ending to some kind of situation. The round and round card is just saying here that this situation is not, there's no more room for growth in a, in a certain thing. Um, whether it's friendship, relationship, it's a general reading, so it's going to resonate differently for some of you, work, you know, business. Um, there's a need to leave something behind because you are made for much more and there is a certain situation that keeps, like, uh, I want to say trapping you in a loop. Um, if you want change in life, we're going to have to make some changes. And this is what the theme is for you here, Leo, as you're moving forward. And it can be scary to come outside your comfort zone. It can be scary to kind of move away from something that you're used to. However, there are some new exciting beginnings that will come of this. And again, growth most importantly, because the situation, even if you start it again, and if, if it's someone else, and if it is a relationship, there could be some empty promises here because it just never works out. You're starting to see the patterns. You're seeing the signs here that something's just never gonna change. And because of this, you're calling a decision to leave. To a, look at this, oh my goodness, beautiful energy coming through. Some of you could be relocating, moving homes. Um, with the Ace of Wands, could even be moving countries, could be moving states. You know, this could be some big movements coming through, but this is about a new beginning. You're ready for something new, something more exciting, something more passionate, a lot of wand energy, a lot of fire coming through for you, uh, which is good, but it's because you're coming from the two of, uh, pen, uh, I keep wanting to say pentacles for some reason, uh, two of wands, which is, I accept that this is an old chapter in my life now, I'm ready for something new, and again, this could be relocating with the world here, this could be expanding a business, this could be, you know, getting ready to change something you are ultimately though understanding that a new beginning is inevitable for you and it's something that you're desiring so much that the old thing is no longer kind of sitting very well for you whether it's an old person again a relationship or a uh, career what you're looking at is maybe it's a long distance relationship and you guys are relocating because nothing's going to change until you do go again with this coming through for you for others of you you're understanding that something's just not right for you anymore it's an old story it's an old thing that you don't really want to engage in anymore you're feeling like life is you're ready to change your life for some of you some of you this is very big changes um but with the four of uh, ones coming in you're ready to start something new and to celebrate something. It's a milestone. You're ready to double up what you have. You're ready to um, get that abundance here, to celebrate with others here about some successes. Again, if this is career, then this is really good. You guys could be waiting for a partnership here, or looking for a partnership or uh, hiring new people to make something expand even more, okay? It could even be a new relationship. You're wanting more out of a relationship. You're wanting more out of friendships. And for some of you, this is coming from understanding that to viewing that and manifesting that and you guys are ready to take this leap of faith to go the distance to find what it is that you're looking for which is the uh, four of wands which is again celebration going out more socializing networking a lot more but for in terms of relationships this is um two independent people coming together with love maybe you've been in codependent relationships before or stuck energy again before or it's just sex or you know i'm just going to be vulgar and just say it um, but I do see here for those in terms of business too, uh, that you, again, are reaching kind of a milestone in life, guys. And this is, this milestone is helping you to understand that you want more out of life. You want to be happy, passionate, you know, let's clarify this. Leo, you might have a lot of options in terms of love or what it is that you're truly wanting, but you're wanting depth. And I feel like you're kind of sick and tired of surface layer things with the Seven of Cups, kind of illusions and stuff like this, or confusion. You're wanting something clear. You're wanting something deep. You're wanting something that is successful, you know? Um, I feel like you're not asking for much. You're just asking for what it is you're deserving of. And you guys are going to go and find that. And so for some of you, this Ace of Cups could even be self-love, but it means you have to pull away from a situation first of all, whether it's a 
mindset, a situation, a relationship, whatever, to be able to go and get that. And this feels like you could again be moving. I do sense that for some of you here, Leo. Okay, the number five could mean something to you this week, which represents changes really, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, you guys are wanting something deep, something pure. Uh, and I feel like you're going, to, you're going to go and get that. This is something you're very passionate about, very loving towards, whether it's an idea, something new basically is coming up for you here. You're finally making a decision about something that you've been confused about. King of Pentacles. All right. This could be new love coming in for you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, again, this person could live at a distance from you. I will say though, um, this person may be hiding some emotions for you, if I'm going to be honest. I feel like there is love here, but they don't haven't really expressed just how much. Uh, but I feel like they will when you next see them, if this is a person. This feels new, though. Okay. Um, I kind of want to... Let's have a little look and see what else there is. I'm seeing blueberries for some reason. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I feel like you're also wanting more stability. This could just be you guys, if it's not love. You're just wanting to... <sighs> feed into something. If this is business, then again, this is looking good for stability, feeling confident, feeling ready. You guys are moving away from like imposter syndrome, understanding that, again, you have to make some kind of decision, for the lovers especially, to move forward into something that you are deserving of. And a lot of you will find love uh, whilst you're making this big decision or making this move. Yeah, ten of cups, look at this. <laughs> Uh, happiness after difficulties. This is beautiful. This is amazing. So there has been some problems or some difficulties in something, but I feel like making this change here, Leo, is going to kind of create this happiness in a situation and deep love. It's going to clear up any confusion here, which is amazing. Can I ask what we're leaving behind those spirit? Baggage. We're leaving behind baggage. We're also leaving behind anything that has been left unsaid. Again, you guys are moving. I actually am seeing some physical movement here. King of Cups coming through. You guys could have some options. Again, you guys have been needing to balance your emotions first before you make this move. Okay? For a new beginning in something a lot more stable and, and ready, you know? I love this. It's slow moving, absolutely, but it's long term. If it's a relationship or a business, again, or a path, uh, this is good. But again, we need to kind of focus more on the positives rather than the negatives. Um, because you're having to let go of something that's becoming way too heavy for you. Way too exhausting for you. So that you can move with balance and to chase your dreams here. This is a be very, very, this is a very good uh, reading coming up for you guys. Two of Cups just tried to come out just there. So there is love there, by the way. If you're wanting it, let's see for Leo. Six of Wands. Well, you guys could have a lot of them. <laughs> Look at this, the Empress. You guys are gaining blessings after blessings and abundance. But what I want to say is you're also gaining a lot of attention. Uh, you don't have to do anything just yet. But with the Six of Wands and the Empress card, people are seeing your worth and seeing your value here. You're attracting in a lot of attention and a lot of success in your life. In terms of career and in terms of love too. If you guys are looking for a business partner, you will find someone who is also... I've got the same vision and dream of yours, okay? And this will be very good for the both of you. Nice! The hermit energy coming through, seeing things from a higher perspective here. Um, yeah, so that you can move away from something that's not serving you. So the good thing is they're focusing more on what you're moving into, which means to me you've kind of already made a decision and know and understand what is best for you in this, which is to leave something behind and to start fresh. Hear the rain. It's like so therapeutic in the background. Money is going to be increasing. You guys are also going to be helping others with money, finances, or some things here. You're focusing on where you're spending uh, a lot more. And this is helping your finances to increase and stability to increase. Your skills are getting better the more that you practice something. Uh, you are gaining wish fulfillment. Maybe not within this week, but you're moving and heading towards it, which is good. It's all because you're leaving something behind that you're realizing it's not actually for you anymore. And this is why you're you're leaving it behind, okay? So a pretty straightforward week here, Leo. We, we'd like to see it. We're going to pull you out some love cards. Some of you, that was an engagement ring trying to come out there. So some of you could, again, be going into, again, a long-term commitment here. 
separation. Yeah, so you are removing someone from your life here. Yeah, sort of the rose. So clarity, truth here, and power. So you're gaining a power back by leaving something behind. This person is still in love with you. They still have feelings and they still think about you. But I feel like you might actually be ready to fall in love with someone else or uh, go towards, again, someone who's able to offer you what it is that you believe now that you are worthy of. Which is love and abundance. Absolutely the Empress energy coming out for you straight away. Beautiful energy. I feel like you're making the right decisions here and choosing yourself ultimately, which is not selfish, regardless of what people say here. At the end of the day, you're responsible for yourself. So of course, you're going to have to make decisions that benefit you. All right. Anything else? We have soulmates coming in. So again, you do definitely have someone coming in who's expressing their emotions to you. We have self-acceptance coming through for you as well here, Leo, which is great in terms of confidence about where you're going moving forward. Ideas and inspiration and body care. So some of you guys, if you work in a fitness industry, this could be a great time to go on social media, by the way. Uh, I'm kind of seeing that for some of you, or if you, any of you work on social media, again, this is also a good sign. But body care, ideas and inspiration, I feel like you guys might be changing your looks a little bit. And this can also, again, be very different messages. Ideas and inspiration, the work is looking good for you. Uh, and again, your health is looking good for you as well. Okay. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. This is great. Um, news coming in for you guys. Just let go of the baggage. Don't resist the changes that are happening. Get ready for something big to happen and happiness to come and love. Okay. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time.